Is Mono Hydro ever worth it? Because you're putting so many good units on one team, unless you have other Mono Elemental teams. Uh, that, is, that tends to be one of the biggest issues with Mono Hydro. But there's also a decent amount of, of variations of Mono Hydro, where you still have a potential available options on the other side, right? Like, for example, you're not going to be playing a Mono Hydro team with both Nevilet and Yelan or Singto, right? So if you're playing, like, Yelan, Singto, Farina, Jean, or whatever, you can still put a Nevilet team on the other side, right? If you're playing Kokomi instead of Singto or Yelan, you can put Singto or Yelan on the other side, right? Um, like, as much as... That's a fair point, depending on what the hydro units, on what hydro units you have. The reality is that hydro is the element that has been given the most good five stars, right? If we're sort by sorting by elemental type, right? There's a total of six animal five stars, right? Two of which kind of rely on the same support, so you can't really play both of them at the same time while feeling good about it. That's five. One of which is very content dependent. So that's four. And two of which have roll overlap, where one is generally better than the other. So in a lot of situations, it's kind of only three, right? For Geo, you have a total of five five stars. One of which is not all that great. One of which is a good defensive option, but generally not an important part of your team building. So that's three, right? For Electro... Wait, there's only four Electro 5 stars? That is crazy. That's actually crazy. I didn't realize that. But you have Sino and Katsing, Roll Overlap, a lot of the same supports. And to some extent, even Yai. So that kind of gives you only Raiden and one of those three. And often you don't really play them together. For Dendro, you have a similar issue with Ahitham oh, Tilhani, so both of them together count really as one. And then Baiju is only good in specific teams that really care about getting the healing. That's like two and a half, maybe. Pyro, you have a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, but one of them is Daluk, and one of them is Deya. And then one of them is Yoimiya, so that's kind of like... And one of them is Klee. Klee and Yoimiya together can count as one, sure, so maybe you have three. And then Cryo, you have five. Chi-Chi obviously doesn't count. And then and it's like, yeah, So it's like three, and even then, right? And then you look at the Hydros and you have Farina, Nevilet, Yelan, Kokomi, Nilo. And like the bad are not even, like the, the ones that are less versatile that can be played in as many teams are, or, or, or aren't that great, right? Oh no, I'm going to have to play a child team. Oh no, I'm going to have to play an, uh, uh, an Ayato team. Oh, golly. Oh yeah, I forgot about Rizli because he... I think the point is just a lot of the Hydro units are good and a lot of them are supports which makes them work with the other Hydro units and it makes it so that you can very easily if you have a bunch of the of the, of the Hydro 5 stars even just with the 5 stars make teams that use... make two teams that rely on Hydro units, one of them being Mono Hydro. But then on top of that, the best Hydro units are 4-star. So like... Well, that is a fair point. If you don't have too many of the Hydro 5-stars, you're probably depriving your other team of a lot of stuff. If you do have a lot of the available options, or a lot of the options available, Hydro is one of the best elements where you can do Monopyro on one side and still a team that relies on a Hydro unit on the other. 
Would you say you... They realized how strong Hydra was very early, so that's why most of the Hydra characters are five stars. Maybe? It's more so... They made Singto so strong that you can't release a character that isn't really good. Uh, that's Hydro. That is ever really going to compete with him. And they don't really want to release strong generalist Hydro or strong generalist four star units. Like if we, if you look at at the the four star units that have been released in the past like two three years, strong ish specialist, strong specialist, weak ish, weak. Weak-ish generalist. Eh, fine. In terms of strength and versatility, I guess. But, like, eh. not very good. Not great and specialist. Decent. Like, pretty good, but not that versatile either, right? Strong at C6, specialist. Decent, both in strength and versatility. Bad, bad. Fine. Fine-ish generalist. Strong specialist. In terms of units that can really be played in a lot of different archetypes, they're one point. The four stars, they're one point oh units, right? That is still pretending Shenling isn't a Bennett Yonku these days. The spirit, honestly, I think Shenling has become a lot less Bennett dependent with Shuffler's release. Um, a lot of the good Shuffler's teams use Shenling as a as a damage option. Uh, with or without Bennett. It's fair that there has also just been an increase in the total amount of teams in general, right? And that... She hasn't gotten that many new non-Bennett teams, but... I think the perception of Shanling as, as Bennett locked... Like, it's, it's half, only only half accurate. Feels weird to run Shangling without Bennett. It does. But often it's actually pretty good. Like, there's a decent amount of Shangling teams that are good without Bennett. Generally, they tend to be a bit weaker than the teams with Bennett, but they're still good. Right? Um, unironically, I think almost all of them run Fischl. Not quite all of them. Funerational is probably the one exception. Right? But outside of Funerational, you have um, soup teams with Chainlink Fischl that are pretty strong. Is Zuko Kamon even good in 2024? It is. I, I don't think it's really worth playing because there's a lot of scuff associated with it. Um, and with the release of a lot of new characters, you have just so many options for team building now that pigeonholing yourself into a team that's relatively difficult to play isn't that great of an idea. Um, but I still use Susing Tomon to this day. Because it's a lot easier to play than Sukokomon. And yeah, you don't have any healing, so you have to make sure that you're dodging enough or you're playing it in content that isn't too dangerous. But I still use it to this day, and it's a pretty good team. Play it, it's been months. I literally played it in this abyss. What are you yapping about? Uh, but other than that... Right, like, generally, for this, right, you, you either use something like this, with Hydro option being pretty flexible, uh, or you use Shavars, which I don't have, so I'll have to use a placeholder. Placeholder is going to be Dory, right? And then you can do something like this with uh, Yai. You can do it with Bennett, you can do it with... And you can do it with Raiden, right? But... Shenling's good off-field pyro app is 
very useful for Shuffler's teams that want to run an Electro Carry. Especially the ones that want to run an Electro Carry with another Electro unit, right? Because that kind of locks you out of Bennett, because then you don't have any off-field Pyro, so you can't really maintain good uptime unless you keep swapping out of your carry. Um, like, it works, but it's generally not something people enjoy playing. But, like, this team, right, with Fish, Fischl, Shengling, Yai, uh, Shovelers, is actually one of the better uh, Yai teams, in my opinion. Do, do, do. 